Hello everyone, really interesting equation today. We need to solve this interstellar factorial problem. We have cube as well. We have x factorial equal to x cubed minus x. How can we solve this interesting question? I want to start with, with this interesting moment. So for example, we have five factorial. For example, we have five factorial. So we can write this five factorial as a product. We all know this one times two times three times four and times and times five. So we can write it as well as this product. But Moreover, we can write this 5 factorial, so I change an order a little bit and we can write it as, for example, 5 times 4 and times not 3 to 1, but 3 factorial. So we can write it in this way. So I hope you understand this step. I use this, this moment right here and I use this moment right here with this x because I don't want to write it as x. I write it as x times x minus 1 and times x minus 2 factorial. So I write this x factorial in this way. I hope you understand this using this explanation as 5 factorial. So what we're going to do next? I write this same on the right hand side or moreover we can factor out x, 1x. So in parentheses we will have x square, x square minus 1. So I hope you understand this step. Right here we factor in x. Right here we write this x factorial in this way. So what we're going to do next? Take a look, I, I want to show you a really interesting moment. I write this left hand side x times x minus 1 and times x minus 2, x minus 2 factorial. And right here, this is our formula x square minus 1. I can write it here square, so this is a square minus b square. We all know this formula, so it will be an x, x right here and x minus 1 and x plus 1. So I hope you understand this step, a square minus b square, split it into an identity and we have our, our option. And take a look at a really interesting moment, x times x minus 1 and right here x times x minus 1. So we can easily cancel these two elements from here and from here. What we will have as a result? We will have this factorial x minus 2 factorial and right here on the right hand side x plus 1, x plus 1. What are we going to do with this? with these expressions. Let's use a substitution right here. So let this in our parentheses x minus 2 will be equal to, for example, will be equal to y. So x from here will be equal to y plus 2. But we need x plus 1, so if we add 1 we will have x plus 1 equal to y plus 3. So we have all elements that we need to substitute right here. So x plus 1, x minus 2 is our y right here. So we can use this element with this substitution. So let's do this. We will have y factorial. y factorial. What we will have next? I bring this y on the left, minus y equal to plus 1. We will have 3. So y factorial minus y equal to 3. So I hope you understand this step. I just use a substitution. So I write it right here, this expression. So we have y factorial minus y equal to 3. What are we going to do with this with this problem? Let's use with this factorial the same trick as right here. So let's write this y factorial as y times y minus 1 factorial and minus y equal to equal to 3. So what we're going to do next? Of course let's divide both sides by y because we have y right here, we have y right here, so we can easily divide both sides by y. Let's do this. Let's divide both sides by y. So fr from here we cancel this oh, and we will have y minus 1 factorial. Right here we will have only minus 1 equal to 3 over, over y. So I hope you understand this step. What we're going to do next? Let's bring this one on the right hand side and let's simplify this a little bit. So let's bring this. We will have y minus 1 factorial equal to 3 over y and plus and plus 1. I want to mention a really interesting thing because y need to be greater than 1 or equal to 1 because right here we have factorial sign. And in the same moment y need to be positive right here as well. So y is positive 1 is greater than 1. So let's check all options that we need right here to solve this, this problem. So let's suppose let's suppose y equal to 
y equal to 1. It can be 1 because y is greater or equal to 1 because right here we have factorial. If we have, for example, 0, 0 minus 1 is negative 1. It cannot be uh, this one. So if y equal to 1, 1 minus 1, 0 factorial, equal to 3 over 1 and plus 1. So as a result, what we will have? We will have right here equal to 4, which is not correct. 0 factorial is not equal to 4. So this one is, is wrong. Let's go next. We will have y equal to y equal to 2. 2 minus 1 will have 1 factorial equal to 3 half and plus 1, which is equal to 5 half, which is absolutely incorrect because this is not our option that we need right here. Let's go next. y equal to 3. If y equal to 3, we will have 3 minus 1. We'll have 2 factorial equal to 3 over 3 and plus and plus 1. Yeah, 3 over 3 and plus 1. So we'll have right here 3 over 3 is, is equal to 1. 1 plus 1 equal to 2. And take a look closely. We will have 2 factorial equal to 2. Let's check this. And of course, this is correct because 2 factorial equal to 2 is good because 1 times 2 equal to equal to 2. So right now we find we find our our y. So as you can see right here, y equal to 3 is our is our option, is our answer. But right here we had a substitution. We need to go to the substitution because y equal to 3. So we need to find our x. So x minus 2 equal to y. And let's find from here our, our y. How can we find this? We can find it easily because we can easily write it x equal to y plus 2 from this equation and x equal to y plus 2, 3 plus 2 equal to equal to 5. And our x is equal to 5. This is our solution to this interesting, interesting problem. Of course, we can check it real quick. We'll have right here 5 cubed minus 5. We'll have 120. 5 minus 5, 120. And right here, 120, which is which is absolutely correct. So what we'll have? We'll have 5 factorial equal to 5 cubed minus 5. So 5 factorial, I write it as 5 factorial, 125 minus 5, it's 120, which is absolutely correct. Because 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 and times 5, we have 6, we will have 24 and we'll have 120, which is absolutely correct. So our answer, our answer x equal to equal to 5 is our solution. If you still have any question, write a question in the comment. It will be really nice to read it. And of course, thank you so much for watching, subscribing. I really appreciate it. It helps me a lot and it supports me a lot to make a new, a new video for you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.